Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you Danish Gambit part 2. Let's start. e4, e5, d4, pawn takes, c3, d takes c3, bishop to c4, c takes b2, and bishop takes on b2. In first video we saw this, bishop to b4, and in this video I will have a look at this move, queen to g5, attacking g2 square. How to continue now? Would you play king to f1, g3, perhaps queen to f3, or something else? Well, knight to f3 is the best move. Offering the pawn, this is the poison pawn now, for quick development of the pieces. Okay. How would you continue now if you had white pieces in this position? Have you seen this? Check if king takes knight to g5, winning the queen. That's why king can't take, he has to go to d8. And now another surprising move. Rook takes on g7. If bishop takes, then bishop takes and wins the rook. Uh, that's why black played the knight to e7. And I'll ask you, how would you continue now? If you had white pieces. If you saw this, that is good. This is winning. Rook, uh, queen is under attack. And also rook is under attack and uh, black is losing material. But there is even better move than that. Hmm. And the better move is knight to g5. Very brilliant move. Queen to h6. How to continue now? Well, white played rook to g6. If he forget it, pawns capture diagonally. What would you play now? Would you take the rook? Or some other move? If you saw this, congratulations, this is checkmate. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I wish you good luck with your chess.